Welcome back to Central New York's Open House. The experts in insulating your home is Standard Insulating Company. They offer many different options to keep your home more energy efficient so you'll be more comfortable during the heating season. Now let's visit with owner Jennifer Keita as she shares with us energy savings tips for your home. Winter always seems to sneak right up on us. It seems like summer was just last week and now we're expecting snow at the end of this week. Today I want to talk to you about preparing your home to get ready for winter. The first thing we want to address is the outside of your home. Getting the outside prepared will help make sure that you don't have to deal with bad issues in the middle of lots of snow. We want to make sure that the faucets are turned off on the outside of the house. Look around the outside of your house for trees and limbs that are overhanging your house or maybe a tree in your yard that's overhanging a neighbor's house. Have those trees and limbs cut back so that they're not overhanging your house. The next thing you want to think about is your shovels and the sand and anything that you need to prepare to clear out any snow that comes about. It's really hard to try to go dig those out when you're really needing them to dig you out from the snow. Lastly, take a look at your gutters. Make sure they're clear of all the leaves and debris that have fallen over the fall. Making sure that they're cleared out can help prevent some of the ice and damage that could happen over the winter. So when we do finally get lots of snow and it builds up on your house and you feel the need that you need to remove it, remember that most homes in our area are built to withstand that snow weight and it's not likely that it needs to be removed. But in the event that you feel it needs to be removed for one reason or the other, remember there are professionals out there that will assist you with that. And there are also those long rakes that can help you remove the end snow, which is probably what you're looking to remove anyways. The second thing we want to talk about is the safety of the house. When we close the windows and we tighten the house up to keep the heat in, we're also keeping a lot of other bad things in. And we have the potential for some dangerous issues, carbon monoxide. Uh, when we introduce any kind of heating system, we're always worried about a fire. So CO detectors and your smoke detectors, make sure those batteries are changed. Make sure you have them and they're in working order. When we're concerned about carbon monoxide, we're concerned about how that exits the house. So we want to make sure that anything that produces carbon monoxide, which is primarily your furnace or your heating system, that it's being vented out correctly. So have your furnace serviced, make sure that that venting is done correctly. If you have a direct vented furnace or hot water tank, it's going to go out a PVC pipe on the outside of the house. Make sure that that's not blocked. And throughout the winter, ensure that there's no snow blocking that so that the carbon monoxide can't come back in the house or be blocked into the house. It's really important. When it comes time to decorating for Christmas, stay safe with that too. Inspect all the wires of the Christmas tree lights if you've had in the past. Look out for frayed wires, broken light bulbs, anything that could spark a fire. I love having a fresh Christmas tree in the house, but it's really important to make sure that you keep it watered the entire time that it's in the house. A dried out Christmas tree can result in a really potential hazard. So keep an eye on it, make sure it's watered every single day, and take a look at all the things that you hang up and put on it and the potential dangers around it. It could fall over, a fire could be created. It is a potential hazard and we want you to be safe. Blackouts and snow ins happen in upstate New York. You've probably actually experienced one already. I know I have. Take some time with your family to prepare and have some items ready in the event that you experience this. The next thing we want to talk about is heating things up. When the winter comes and the cold weather comes, we're starting up our new heating systems or our old heating systems for the first time in quite a few months. Pay attention to the heating systems. Make sure the filter has been changed. It's something that you can do yourself. You can also ensure that the heating system is working correctly by having a service tech come in and do a routine clean and tune to make sure that you're not going to encounter any issues in the start of your furnace. I know that I love sitting next to my fireplace with my family and friends. Make sure that if you have a wood burning fireplace that your chimney is clean. It's really important to not let any of the soot that has built up over the years or even over the season cause a backdraft or a problem in the safety of your home. Plus, it gets really smoky and you don't get to enjoy this fireplace like you should. If you have a gas burning fireplace, all you really need to do is make sure that the gas is working correctly and that you have the pilot turned on correctly and that it's in working order. If not, call your service tech to take care of that as well. And lastly, we're going to talk about energy efficiency. It affects the whole house in so many ways. It actually touches a lot of things that we just talked about. Attic insulation can help stop ice dams, which are the main cause of any problems in the roof. It's usually why someone wants to shovel the snow off the roof. It's why we're concerned about gutters. 
So make sure that you take an opportunity to get into your attic. If you can't, give us a call and we'll come help you. But we want to make sure that the insulation in the attic floor is equivalent to an R49 to stop any heat to warm the roof and cause those ice dams. It can be easily stopped if the insulation levels are correct and the air sealing is done correctly. After we've insulated the attic, you've sealed all the crevices and the cracks in the basement and around the house, the next place for the heat to escape is your walls. If your walls are not insulated or insulated very poorly, you're losing a lot of heat out of those surfaces. Plus, the wall surface temperature is so cold that it makes you uncomfortable in the house, even when the temperature is 70 plus degrees in the house. These are just a few things that you can do to get prepared for winter. But please remember, standard insulating is always here to help you. If you have any concerns, any needs, or any questions, give standard insulating a call. We'll come by and give you a free assessment, a free estimate, or just some information to help you in any of the issues that you may have on energy efficiency or safety of your home. For more information on the products and services seen on Central New York's Open House, log on to cnyopenhouse.com or like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or watch more videos on YouTube.